Hello, another railway walk today. We're at the site of Wancliffe Woodmore Colliery near Barnsley. Back in its day, it had three winding shafts, coke ovens, a brickworks, and employed well over a thousand men. The pit closed in 1966, and the area is now industrial estates. But we've come here to see what remains of the railway network around it. I'll put a little map up so we can see where we are. We can see a line coming in from the north. This left the Barnsley Coal Railway close to Stain Cross Railway Station. Looking straight ahead towards Royston, our branch went to the right towards Carlton. You can just see the embankment of the Barnsley Coal Railway in the distance. There is still a bit of evidence of this being a railway, such as these concrete fence posts. and a few concrete sleepers left behind. We had heavy rain all yesterday, so it's probably not always this muddy. The area we're looking at now was landscaped in the 1990s and there's no evidence whatsoever that a railway was ever here. We're now looking towards the playing field we saw in the opening shots. This is where the line would have turned south into the pit site. We'll now follow the route of the Midland Railway connection to the east side of the site. This is the reclaimed spoil heaps. We soon pick up the former trap bed and head towards Royston Lane. This is Royston, just to our left. This is the remains of a trackside fence.
After crossing Royston Lane, we're on an embankment. This is looking back from the road. Amazing how this telegraph pole has survived. This is the site of the former Cronkill Bridge, where the line crossed the Barnsley Canal. From here, the trap bed is on private land, but fortunately, there's a path that runs alongside it. The railway embankment is just a couple of metres to our right. It's at this point where the line split. To the right, it joined the Midland line at this junction. We can just see the curve marked by the line of bushes. Back to our line. We can see the Midland line going off towards Leeds. We drop down to go under the Midland line at Pools Bridge. We can see where this was extended at various times as the Midland line was widened. This is looking from the other side. In its day, this was the main Derby to Leeds line. Moving on, the Midland line is now on our left. We joined the Hull and Barnsley line at Cuddeth North Junction, circled here on the map in red. Thanks for watching this short explore. 